is I'm in the market for a co-op in the one to $1.5 million range. That's a pretty high difference, $500,000 difference. Um, I'm interested in doing a cash deal and have reserves beyond the purchase price. I think this gives me a very strong position in, very strong position in the market, you're right, and would make me more desirable for a co-op, potentially. However, the, however, what premium, here's the question, what premium should I expect the seller to put on my cash deal and assurance of closure? Is there a specific number or a percentage of the purchase price? So essentially, they're a cash purchase. They want to know the, the assurance of closure. There is no assurance of closure whatsoever. You have no idea what's gonna happen. This is New York City. I'm assuming you're buying in New York City. It's a New York City question. Uh, and you actually just say a co. Yes, okay, so with cash deals, this is really funny, is that buyers with cash deals feel like there's a premium. Yes, there's a premium, but there's a premium to so much of a fact that if you offer a price, so say you offer a million dollars and someone offers one one, they're probably gonna go with the one one. As long as they can get by the board, they're qualified by a bank, and if they're not contingent on financing, then they're probably gonna go with the one one deal. I would have my seller go with someone that's even $50,000 more if it's, granted, if it's within reason, if it's one million in a million fifth, or a million in a million fifty, and there's that $50,000 difference, yeah, I would have my seller go with someone that's financing for $50,000 more. It's $50,000 that they're still getting cash at closing. It really comes down to, are they gonna risk the appraisal and are they gonna actually go not, there could be, if they're contingent, then they could potentially not get financing. Contingent on financing. This is a really complicated question. But yes, there's a little bit of a premium. But don't think you're holy water walking through parted seas in Jerusalem. I don't know what kind of Bible reference that was. Essentially, yes, there's a little bit of a premium, but I wouldn't put it over to the fact of that you just, trump everyone at every time because you can have cash but you can have awful credit i know someone that just cannot just got denied by the board because they have awful credit so credit's huge thank you for watching another q a monday i am charles bonston from bonston properties international you can do one of three things right now you can subscribe to our youtube channel which has other q a mondays along with property video walkthroughs of listings that we represent you can follow us on instagram which is our favorite social media network where we have professional photography of buildings along with the history of those buildings of new york city along with listings we represent number three Three, which is go to Botanston.com and search for all available New York City condos, co-ops, and commercial properties. Talk to you guys soon.